Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to our next bonus video where we're gonna marry ourselves a Mineral Town man. All right, so the requirements are as follows. Um, you need to have your desired boy at a red heart color, which is 60,000 love points or higher. You have to have viewed all four heart events. Um, if you are trying to marry said Mineral Town boy, you also have to have connected to um, the Game Boy Advance in order to access Gray, Cliff, Rick, and Doctor. However, Kai is a freebie. <laughs> he comes, he comes no matter what. So, he's the one boy that you can marry if you don't happen to have a copy of Friends of Mineral Town. Um, in addition to raising their love points and viewing their heart events, you also have to have rescued 60 sprites in order to rescue the Harvest Goddess, or else she cannot toll the wedding bells for you. Requirement of marriage. <laughs> I guess without the Harvest Goddess, the population would just decrease dramatically. And we also have to have upgraded our house enough to purchase the big bed to put our husband in. Alright, so who are we gonna marry first? I think I'll kinda go based off, like, maybe difficulty level. So, first off... Let's go to the inn where all the boys are at. The easiest boy. Um... In this game, in terms of mineral towners, would actually be Kai. <laughs> if we were playing friends of like more friends of Mineral Town, Kai would actually be the hardest because he only appears in the summer, but in this game it's actually a boon because he appears all summer while the other Mineral Town boys only pop up once a week. <laughs> so it's kind of a drag trying to woo them. Kai is easy. So you can give him like easy gifts until you're able to like give him pineapples. Let's see what's some like easy gifts for him before you can before you can uh gift him pineapples. You can <laughs> goodbye flower. <laughs> that was that was my that was my uh strategy back in Friends of Mineral Town. Buy him flour until pineapples are ready. He also likes bread and oil, wine, eggs, medium and large fish. Those are some really easy options. And yeah, like anything else, like would just be too much of a pain to give him. All right, well, first boy, let us show him the blue feather. Is this for me? Let's talk at your place, Milan. For real, Milan? Got the old heart of it music. Here it is. I'm always so happy whenever you stop by. In fact, others come by all the time, but none cheer me up like you. What I'm trying to say is, I really love you, Milan. Now that you know how I feel, of course you know I'll say yes. We'll always be happy together, Milan. As husband and wife. No. Wow, it just hit me that once we're married, we can be together all the time. I don't know how happy that makes me. Just thinking about our future gets me so stoked. <laughs> when should we have our ceremony? Does a week from now sound good? Awesome! In a week it is. I'll tell my folks the news. They can't come to the ceremony. We should see them later. I guess off screen we'll, we'll introduce ourselves. This is, hello, hello Kai. Hello Kai's parents. I'm Milan. I'm marrying your son. I always felt like Kai was like a little bit estranged from his parents. Which is why he's like traveling the world. Yes, yeah, so a week is Kai's wedding. Let's. Go to bed? Luckily, in this game, um, we have the benefit of actually staying married to them after the credits roll. <laughs> which is- which is awesome! Too bad they couldn't do that in the boy version, cause, like, these guys are a little bit of a challenge to marry. And all of them are great, too. I- I- the only problem I had with, like, the Mineral Town boys was Rick back in Friends of Mineral Town was like, had a super sister complex, but they kind of calmed him down in this game. And then Dr. Trent, I just kind of felt like he was too old for me when I was a kid. Like, I wasn't that interested in him. He seemed a little bit too old and basic, but now all of them seem great. <laughs> ah, Thomas, now begin this honorable marriage ceremony. Yay. I will not ask the groom. You started to love Milan forever. You know I do! 
Yes, yes, and super yes. Good. Now the bride. And do you promise to love and cherish Kai as long as you both shall live? Yes. This is the happiest day of my life! Let's take the world by storm! Oh, Kai has some, like, kind of cool dialogue. It's, it's completely his personality. I now pronounce you man and wife. Milan, Milan. Dum da dum. Congratulations. Here's my present for you. And here are the credits. All right, we should should hopefully see another cutscene <laughs> at the end of these credits, or else I'll be very disappointed. But it, yeah, it should be. It's neat. Uh, they're actually able to live with you this time. Took them a while to enable that. And you'll be able to have a kid with them, and with Kai's case, um, he won't leave at the end of summer. Um, he'll still work in the summer, he'll have his summer booth, but I think for the rest of the year he just kind of stays at home, from my understanding. Um, yeah. Doesn't move out. <laughs> That'd be kind of sad. Be home alone. Be like marrying the gourmet where he's like only at home every once in a while. Today you and I are husband and wife. Feels so good to say it. Oh yeah, let's think up of some nicknames. That'll liven things up. Just call me Kai. What should I call you, Milan? I'm gonna keep it simple. <laughs> like, you can call me Mal. Not, not ma'am. Okay, then Mal it is. Don't forget to respond when I call you that. Tomorrow begins our new life together. Here he is. Yeah, he kind of match. <laughs> our clothes match today. Morning, Mal. I'm doing ranch work. I never thought I'd be doing this. Yeah, really different career choice than he thought he would have. And I was like... The wanderer. Summer wanderer turned into rancher. Alright, well that's Kai's wedding. Let's reload and do our second bachelor. Reloading. <laughs> Alright, back to being single. Now... See, I'm not doing it based off favoritism right now, but... The next one that we are going to marry is Grey. He is actually one of my favorites because I used to always marry him when I used to play more Friends of Mineral Town. Uh, just because, I don't know, I, I had an obsession with Link back then and he had like kind of blondish hair in more Friends of Mineral Town. So, like I'd always marry him and then I'd call my child Link. But here he has like more reddish hair like his 64, Harpus Moon 64 version of him. Alright, so marry him. What? Um, let's talk at your house, Milan. Yeah, I think he's probably the second easiest to marry. For some reason, his affection goes up a lot faster than the other boys. Um, I think that's just because we interact with him a lot more through the telephone, because you're probably going to be calling him to upgrade your tools and whatnot. You caught me off guard. Can you give me a minute? Just need to calm down here. Press. Ooh, okay, I'm calm now. Could you show me again? No, he doesn't believe it. Here it is! Lately, I haven't been giving it my all when training. I just can't stop thinking about you, Milan. Even Grandpa says I got my head up in the clouds. But now I can work hard again. Because I know you feel the same about me. So yes, of course I'll marry you. So yeah, let's get married. Oh, Wow, I better go tell Grandpa and the others. Grandpa's gonna flip. <laughs> well, maybe not. What about the ceremony? Is a week from now okay? That settles it. We'll have it in about a week. I'll go tell them the news myself. Don't worry, no one's gonna be against it. Just leave this to me. Guess I guess the... Gray's only family is his grandpa. <laughs> Never hear about his parents. 
We do know that Gray used to live in the city. Right, wedding with Gray. Let's get to bed. But yeah, for some reason, Gray's affection just seems to go up a lot faster <laughs> than the other boys. Um, that's because I, I think always calling him to upgrade a tool or calling him to order like a maker, like a maker or something. That little, you get that little talking bonus. And then as in terms of gifts, you can start gifting him right away. Um, he likes... Probably the easiest thing to get him is actually chocolate <laughs> in this game. He does like other stuff like copper, silver, and gold, but you can just buy the chocolate from Karen and then just... Kind of wait until you get a kitchen and an oven. And then you can just make him some baked corn. Just requires one corn in the oven. Super easy. Ah, Thomas and I'll be begin this honorable marriage ceremony. I will now ask the groom. Do you swear to love Milan forever? I do. Good. Now the bride. You promise to love and cherish Grey as long as you both shall live? Let's live happily together. And now I pronounce you man and wife. Milan, Milan. That Saibara can make this a wedding. They could have totally put a sprite in the game. Da da dum. Congratulations. Here's my present for you. Credits. I mean, was always like a little sweetie. I always had a hard time choosing between him and Cliff. I was like, I thought both of those boys were handsome, but I always went for Gray. Like in the end, is even though he kind of had an angsty attitude, like he eventually warmed up, and he just like really just wanted to make him happy in the end. So yeah, I always ended up picking him. Now that we married him, I think he does leave during the day. He's off to Mineral Town because he still does work at the blacksmith and we still need to be able to call him for, for tools and whatnot. We're husband and wife now. I've never been this happy in my entire life. Why don't we make nicknames and call me Grey? How about you, Milan? Too bad I can't make a nickname for him. Branch. I remember that was a joke back in Orphans in Mineral Town. He could just gift him branches and he loved them. Mel, huh? Okay, from now on I'll call you that. Hi, Mel. Oh, I like that. Don't worry if I'm already gone after you get up in the morning. Gotta commute to Mineral Town and get those blacksmith fires burning nice and early. That's why I leave home early. Oh, I won't be able to talk to him. And I'll always come home at night. Tomorrow begins our new life together. <laughs> is he gonna be gone? But he is gone, that's sad. I'm guessing he'll be around on Thursday though. I kinda wanna talk to him. He'll bad man. <laughs> let's, 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 let's get to a Thursday. That's his day off, so like he shouldn't be gone in the morning. When he comes home, I wonder if it's like close to eight ish or if they just have him instantly come back to the valley once uh, the blacksmith closes. It would make sense if it was like pretty late. Because, <laughs> like, the commute time. Yeah, here he is. He's, he's here all day on Thursday. Good morning, Mal. You were sleeping peacefully. Did you have a good dream? Are you happy that you married me, Mal? Huh? Me? You know the answer. No. <laughs> Tugging at my heartstrings. You make me want to marry you and the LP. I want to have your babies, Gray. Let me have your babies. I want to 
can make you a happy man. All right, well, we have to go back to being single, though. We're just showing off marriages here. Load. All right, so next boy. Let's see if I can get to this day without it turning stormy. <laughs> I think next boy that's easiest. Okay, we made it to Sunday. Next boy on our list. I would say it would be Rick. He's here on Sundays. Um, and that's for the same reason as Gray. <laughs> Guy shows up in the summer, doesn't he? Calm down, no fighting. I have something to show you. Hey, hold on there. Let's go to your house, Milan. I I can't believe my ears. My heart is pounding here. Are you sure you want me? And you won't regret this? Oh, don't put yourself down, Rick. You're actually a good boy in this game. Thank you. At first I'd only come to forget me not valid to keep an eye on my sister. But lately I've been coming for a different reason. I started coming here in hopes of seeing you, Milan. Well, now we've been able to spend the rest of our lives together and see each other every day. Can't imagine how happy that makes me. Of course my answer is well, of course. I I love you. Said it. What about the wedding date? Is a week from now okay? Great, we'll have our ceremony in about a week then. Let's make it unforgettable. Well, I should be going now. Gotta tell Potpourri. I'll tell Ma as soon as I get back to town. I'll write to Pa. Everyone will, everyone will be so excited. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a big family. Like Rick, Rick still has Lilia and Dad is still traveling. Have wedding to Rick. Sleep it off. Oh, yeah, I say Rick is like probably the third easiest for the same reason that um Ray is like kinda easier. His affection raises up a little faster because he does have more interactions uh, with you. You can also give him if you wanted an easy gift, you can also give him chocolate. He likes regular eggs. Uh, board feed. <laughs> Some really cheap gifts you can give him. Like wine. Although, once you get the hot spring and have some chicken eggs, you can make some uh, spa boiled eggs. And that's his loved item. It's really easy, really cheap to really cheap to make. And then, yeah, you just get those bonus interactions. Like talking on the phone with him and then him visiting you to like enter you in an animal contest. Ah, Thomas will now begin this honorable marriage ceremony. I will now ask the groom. You swear to love Milan forever. I do. Oh, Popperie's here. I just noticed her. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Now the bride. You promise to love and cherish Rick as long as you both shall live. Let's make it last forever. And I pronounce you man and wife. Hey, my little nerdy husband. <laughs> Milan, Milan! Dum da dum! Congratulations, here's my present for you. Alright, now the credits. I guess uh, by marrying Rick here. <laughs> You're in ownership of, like, a major, like, livestock conglomerate now, because Rick owns the Odal Ranch, while you have your own farm as well. Like, how? Like, who's gonna get what? <laughs> gonna have to have multiple kids to bequeath the farms to. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd probably leave in the morning, same as, same as Gray to go work on Yodel Farm. How it should have been with the boy version. It's like the girls who work just have them be gone in the morning and then come back at night. I do like, I do like in this game, uh, they kind of calm down 
Rick's uh, sister complex, complex. He doesn't scream as much. He still kind of screams sometimes, but he doesn't get as angry. <laughs> We're actually husband and wife now. Hey, why don't we give each other pet names? That should be fun. Call me Rick, okay? What should I call you, Milan? Call me Mal. Or egg, I don't know. <laughs> egg. <laughs> Omelette. Mal's fine. <laughs> Not gonna be all quippy here. Mal, huh? I like it. Let's live to let's live to the fullest. Mal, haha. Oh god, needed a space there. Don't worry if I'm already gone after you get up in the morning. Gettle Ranch opens up early, and I also have to stop by the chicken littles. But you can count on me coming home every night. You need not worry. He's a busy man. <laughs> Farm begins our new life together. A little bit, it might be a little bit lonely of a marriage if you're marrying a man that has a work in the morning. <laughs> Let's see if we can talk to him on Sunday. Okay. It's like having that much of a commute though, like man, that must be hard on a person. <laughs> okay, I can't just get Pokeberry to like run the whole operation. All the animals would probably die. <laughs> Oh, he's here on Friday. Oh, because it's the festival today. Good morning, Mal. Let's do our best today. I'm glad I married you, Mal. Oh, sweetie. Alright, well, that's marriage with uh, Rick. Um, let's go on reload. Do the next boy. Without further ado. Um, probably should have... file. So, our fourth boy. If I can get to a day that's not stormy. Obviously it's not going to be Cliff because we passed on Saturday. I say fourth easiest boy would be Dr. Trent. His gifts are pretty easy to get, um, but you don't really have as much interaction with him versus uh, Gray and Rick, because you can't really call him on the phone, he doesn't really visit you otherwise. You can only really talk to him on Wednesdays, so you just get his flat, his flat gift rate. <laughs> so just one item per week, plus talking bonus for that day. Here? Why don't we discuss this at your house, Milan? I... I... You mean it? Finally figure out what love means, Dr. Trent. I haven't been able to get you out of my mind lately. <laughs> Can't even focus on work or my studies. I'm so happy and relieved that you feel the same way about me, Milan. Now I feel like I've been cured of an illness. I feel like a new man! I must have a serious case of love sickness. My answer is yes, of course. Nothing would make me happier. Well, I need to get back now. I'll make sure to tell my parents the big news once I get back to town. Let me tell Hardy and Ellie, too. When should we have the wedding? A week from now sounds okay? Very well. In a week it is. I'll tell everyone. I forget. Uh, Dr. Trent's parents are still alive. <laughs> For some reason, I think there's like a cutscene in More Friends of Mineral Town where it makes it sound like they're dead and he's just like reminiscing about why they were so hard on him and why they really wanted him to be a doctor because they were doctors too. Dr. Trent is the fourth easiest. Um, his gifts aren't that hard to get. Um, he likes a lot of the colored grasses. <laughs> or you can just buy a stack of wine from Karen's if you want a 500 love point gift. And then once he gets some cows, his 800 love point gift is just milk. <laughs> Super easy, no cooking required, so... Probably get his 
part up fairly quickly. That should be safe a lot. Aw. Both Hardy and Ellie are up front. Ah, Thomas, and I'll begin this honorable marriage ceremony. I will not ask the groom. He swear to love Milan forever. I do. Good. Now the bride. He promised to love and cherish Dr. Trent as long as he both shall live. Let's work together as a team. And now for Nancy, man and wife. Hold on, hold on. Dum da dum. Congratulations, here's my present for you. Trent. The doctor wasn't always my favorite person to marry, though, to be honest. Um, yeah. I, I already said, like, back in More Friends of Merrill Town, he just kind of felt too old and, like, too basic for me, and it's always kind of weird that even though he felt older, he didn't, he didn't know what, like, love was. But I guess that was just a consequence of him being so obsessed with the studies that, um, he didn't really have any time for love. That seems to be a common trope. Kind of weird, like, Dr. Ford was like that. And I liked him as a character, it was like really, it was kind of sweet. <laughs> but Dr. Ford also had like, kind of mad scientist vibes as well. A little bit OCD. We're husband and wife now. Why don't we think up some pet names? That would probably stimulate the mind in a healthy way. Oh yes, you want some stimulation, baby? Would you call me Dr. Trent? Ah, oh, yes. So sexy. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Doctor instead of daddy. Thanks. What about you, Milan? <laughs> Can I just call you Trent? Let's drop the honorific. That's not even honorific. It's just his job title. It's like, hey man, I went to college for this. I demand to be called Doctor. Okay, it's Mal then. Call you that way from now on. Let's make a great life together, Mal. Need a space. Oops. I mean, Mal. Oh, was that supposed to be an error? Like, talking too fast? Ah, uh, yes. I probably won't be home when you wake up, except on my days off. I'll have to leave early morning to get to work right when the hospital opens. But you can count on me coming home every night, so don't worry about me. Rip. <laughs> Tomorrow begins our new life together. We we'll only get the benefit of living together, like, in the morning with Kai. Because <laughs> this booth is here in town. Alright, well, maybe we'll, we can sleep until he's actually here in the morning on a Wednesday or holiday. Talk to him. Okay, at least he's, at least he's here in the morning. Man, it's gonna be a little bit of a drag now I think about it, trying to get their divorce scenes. Oh god. I can't just, like, give them their hated item and then go to bed. I have to wait for them to come home. Oh, that's, that's gonna be a big rip. There he is. Good morning. What a refreshing day. It has nothing to do with the weather. I feel refreshed with you. By my side, Mal. Aww. Giving you those negative ions. Alright, well, that's Dr. Trent, so he did. Guy, we did Gray, we did Rick, we did Dr. Trent, and now the last boy. He's a very sweet boy, but he's also a very hardest boy. <laughs> he's the hardest boy to woo, in my opinion. Hi. Oh, we're going home. Hey, how you doing? I'll be counting on you this next month. Alright. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to reload a save. That's on a Saturday. But here is hardest boy to woo. Um, just because the love item is just a big pain in the bum to do. We got Cliff. I feel bad for Cliff. He always seems so lonely. Tragic. Tragic backstory. Just like, 
I always had the urge to just make him happy. Yikes, um, let's go somewhere else. Oh, I know. Let's go to your house. Rolls are paper thin here. I'm shocked. I mean, this is all so sudden. But thank you. I'm flattered you proposed. Are you sure you want me? Of all people? I think you deserve a lot better, Milan. Really? I'm happy you said that. Lately, I've been thinking of you more than just a friend. More like... like a woman. I've been thinking of you day and night, Milan. So you don't realize how happy this makes me. Never imagined you could feel the same way about me. The answer is yes, of course. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. When should we have the wedding? Is a week from now okay with you? Let's invite everyone in Forget Me Not Valley. They're all like family to me. No, you don't really have family in, <laughs> in real town. I guess you could invite uh, the Pastor Carter. Well, I'll go home for now. And I better tell Pastor Carter about our plans. Maybe someday I'll be able to tell my family. Oh. Maybe his sister. His sister's still alive, but this is his mother that's passed away. He just doesn't know where his sister is. Alright, let's go to bed and skip ahead to the wedding. Um, which... It's on, a, it's on a Saturday, I think. No, wait, it's on a Sunday. Never mind. Wedding with Cliff. Couldn't be on a Saturday. It's a chicken festival. Got pushed ahead. But yeah. Cliff is the hardest one to woo. Um... His... Loved items... His favorite loved item, the 800 love point one, is the finest curry, and that just takes so many steps to make. Pretty much making every color of curry, and I think mixing it with either white or black curry... It's just a major pain to make. <laughs> and then, let's see, is grape juice on the list? Yeah, I guess you can get him, like, grape juice for, like, a 300 love point gift. But the middle ground, his 500 love point gift, like, you still have to make it yourself. <laughs> like, I, I usually just end up giving him curry for, like, 500 love points just because I, I don't want to spend the 10 steps to make the finest curry. I would only give it to him on his birthday. <laughs> Which is why it's like, Cliff is probably the hardest to woo, because you can only give him like, a little bit more basic items just to like, s save yourself some real lifetime. Ah, Thomas will now begin this honorable marriage ceremony. I will now ask the groom. You swear to love Milan forever. I do. Good. Now the bride! You promised to love and cherish Cliff as long as you both shall live. No matter what troubles lie ahead, we can overcome them and stick together. I now pronounce you man and wife. Milan, Milan! Congratulations, here's my present for you. Alright, oh, it's the last boy. They kinda look the same too, it's kinda... <laughs> I almost feel like we're long lost cousins. <laughs> I mean, Cliff does have a lot of cousins, it seems like, in town. Karen seems to be... He's, he's cousin with Karen, which means he's also related to Celia, because Karen... Also, uh, cousins with Celia. Although, you might not have a connection with Karen in this game. I think it was 64 where it's like the relationship, they were both cousins. This one is technically a different universe. <laughs> Families are rearranged here. Yeah, he does have like the same brown hair, or purple eyes that, that Jill has, the protagonist. I don't know. He, he kind of had more brownish eyes though in other games. 
this off the color palette. Today's the beginning of the rest of our lives. I'm on the top of the world, and I hope this feeling lasts forever. I've been thinking about nicknames, Milan. What should I call my new wifey? Oh, wifey? You can call me Cliff. Wifey? I almost want to call me- I almost want to say wifey. <laughs> Let's call myself Val. <laughs> Alright then, Mal. That'll be my name for you. You're still a wonderful life, Mal. We're a team now. A wonderful life, he said it instead of the game. The game that this game is based off of. Tomorrow begins our new life together. And I do believe Cliff does not have a job, so... He's not working at the winery. Good morning, Mal. I'm a happy man. I mean, my bride is the cutest girl who ever lived. Oh, my heart. Uh, uh. Oh, God, Cliff, you're so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. At least, with, at least with Cliff, you get a cutie and he's here in the morning. Hello? That just means he also doesn't work, but... <laughs> I'll just imply that he does farm work. All right, well, that's all of the boys. Um, I'll have to tune in another bonus episode where... I divorced them. Well, first I gotta find out if they do have a divorce, a divorce cutscene. I know the Forget Me Not Valley boys do. I'll find out if these boys do as well. It's not, it's not a true divorce. It's just like a cutscene where you make them hate you. <laughs> and then you have to fix their, your relationship if you want to have a baby with them. Um, yeah, you can't have a baby with them. Um, they don't have, like, any, like, particular sprites that correspond with their hair and eye color. So they just share the same, uh, the same sprite colors as either Buffy, Celia, Nami, Flora, or Lumina. So you just, if you're gonna have a baby, you have a grab bag of like, which color are you gonna get? <laughs> it's randomized. You can also reload if you wanted like a different, a different hair and eye color combination. Maybe you wanted to match your spouse a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you can also have a girl child with them, because you marry them in the girl version of the game. But yeah, having a girl child is a little bit of a drag, because I think the gender is determined on your wedding day, so... You'd have to, like, save before your wedding day, and then sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> I guess you have to save files for that. You can manipulate it that way, or... You save before your wedding, and then save before your pregnancy. And if, like, you happen to get, get a girl, you can reload the day before, like, the birth to try to get the color you want. But if you get a boy, you can reload before your wedding and <laughs> try to manipulate it that way. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I'm just babbling at this point. I'll end things off. Hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye-bye.